and welcome to the Trauma Treatment Collective vlog. Today I'm going to be talking about how to talk with clients in a very easy and simple way about the brain. So providing psychoeducation about the brain and how it's affected by trauma. One of the most complicated things that I've ever tried to explain is the brain. And so we understand that it's impacted by trauma, but how do we explain that to our clients? How do we make that simple for them so that they can understand it and you can, you and your client can have a common language. And so today I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks. The number one thing that I do is I use the triune brain model. The triune brain model um, is basically talking about three parts of the brain. So you have the uh, reptilian brain which is the back of the brain so we're thinking about this portion of our brain then you have the limbic system which is more of the middle portion of the brain or the midbrain and then you have the front of the brain also known as the prefrontal cortex or the cortex I talk about the prefrontal cortex and so the triune brain breaks the brain up into three separate parts and it talks a little bit about each of those parts and then what I do is I take on top of that and then I add on da Dr. Dan Siegel's hand model so I use my actual hand to explain to the client so I'll say okay let's talk a little bit about the brain and these are the words that I use with them so I'm gonna go through it as if you were my client and I'm going to show you how I talk with my client I'll say okay so let's talk a little bit about the brain um, and so when you think about your brain you're thinking about the back of your brain and this part of your back of your brain is known as the reptilian brain so you have the brain stem and then you have the back of your brain known the, as the reptilian brain or you'll hear other people refer to it as the lizard brain and this is where all of your autonomic or automatic parts of your body functions and you know your breath your heart your um, eyes blinking things that you don't tell yourself to do this is where those parts um, are live or where they have their center also in the back of your brain or your reptilian brain is where your fight flight and freeze defense responses are excuse me so your fight fight <laughs> I always get tongued out with that, my apologies. Your fight, flight, and freeze uh, defense responses are in the back of your brain. And so then I fold my thumb over and I say, this is your limbic system. And in your limbic system, this is where your emotional brain is, this is where your feelings are located, and then you have your prefrontal cortex, which is also known as your thinking brain. This is where we make our most our choices, our rational thoughts, all of those things live in this part of your brain. And anytime that this part of your brain, the reptilian part of your brain is activated, so in times of uh, threat, um, and when you have a threat response, the prefrontal cortex comes offline. So anytime this part of your brain fires, this part goes offline. And so as we are working, when you are triggered, um, we're going to be working to bring this part back online because when you're triggered, this part flips off, the prefrontal cortex is no longer there, so it's hard to figure out uh, what's rational, it's hard to make choices, it's hard to access all the coping skills and things that we learn are all stored up here in this part of your brain and so it's going to be really hard for you to access those when you're triggered and our job is to help you get things that are going to help you bring your brain back online so all parts of your brain are going to kind of calm down and settle down and you're going to be able to access your full brain and not just work from this part of your brain in this part of your brain but to work from your full part of your brain so you're not just having emotions and reactions but you're having the ability to think through how you want to respond how you want to react to a situation is it even a rational situation to react to and so that's how i explain to the clients it's really helpful to provide psychoeducation about the brain because a lot of times clients feel like they have no control. They feel like the, everything's just happening all over the place and why can't I think through things and why can't I slow things down and you know a lot of whys, a lot of why can't I have control and when I explain the, the scientific part of like how the brain is affected and how the brain is triggered and what happens in the brain, it really helps clients to understand that they... Um, they're not necessarily you know just crazy or, or losing their mind but these things are happening and there actually is a way that they can intervene into that to be able to help the brain to come back online so i want to share with you that if you're watching this in real time um in about a week or so september 30th i will open enrollment to treating trauma with the body 
and the brain in mind or with the brain and the body in mind. Um, and that's my online course that I um, provide. And in that course, I talk about interventions that are brain-based and how to really target some of the reactions and some of the things that you see in clients um, from a brain standpoint when it, as it relates to trauma treatment. And so I want to invite you to enroll in that course. Um, again, the doors open on September 30th and the class actually starts on October 6th and it'll be a four-week class. You'll have four modules. Um, each module will come out on the first Monday of each of the weeks um, and we'll have also a pop-up Facebook group where we'll be able to interact. I'll be able to answer questions and support you in which, whatever way I can as you apply the knowledge that you're learning in the course. So I hope that you will join me. Um, in the meantime, I hope that it's really helpful to kind of think about using the triune brain in, in dance Siegel's hand model to be able to talk about the brain and provide psychoeducation to your clients. I hope that that's a really simple way. Usually when I do it with clients, they're like, wow, that's really easy to understand. We're just focusing on three parts of the brain. We're just talking about how those three parts are impacted and what they can do to then bring their whole brain back online so that they can function in the way that they want to and they can feel regulated in that um, and they can have a sense of safety as they're making choices and trying to figure out how they want to respond to certain situations and circumstances. So you guys have a great rest of your day. This is a short vlog for today, but I wanted to talk about that, provide this information, my tips and my tricks that I use, and hopefully it will be helpful. Take care. Bye-bye. <music>